Hi, I'm Ed Owen, and uh, I'm going to show you how to change the 12-22 Moen um, cartridge that everyone seems to be having problems with. If you if you don't have hot water or cold water with the Moen 12-22 type cartridge, uh, they're known to fail. Okay, they're known to to crap out on you. Um, and so um, I was able to get it out finally. Uh, and let me, uh, yeah. So I was able to get it out finally. Uh, here you can see and um, yeah and it was using this uh, Dano uh, Danco uh, this Danco um, polar and I'm going to explain coming up how to get this puppy out of your valve there okay um, I'm all done now as far as pulling that so I'm going to um, let's see where's the camera yeah, I'm going to clean it out with this uh, Scotch Bright. So, but I'll uh, I'll rewind the tape and show you how to do it. Okay, I'm doing a video here uh, for the Moen 21 uh, 1222 uh, fitting that seems to give everybody headaches, and uh, a video on the tool remover by uh, Dano. Um, I haven't seen a good video on this, and I just figured it out um, what some of the problems are. Of course, you know you got to screw this screw into the actual valve. I'm holding the camera with one hand, but you know the valve's right here. So you're screwing this into where normally the knob would go, and you screw it all the way in until this part gets uh, squared up there. Um, you can see with the actual valve um there do you see it where it's, it's squared up there okay so this opening of the dano tool is at the top and these two side things butt up against this plastic here what i found was um the two white tabs uh that stick up right here they're right there like that uh, they're actually in your way and you got to break them off okay um because it won't allow this thing to do its work because it's fighting against that tab. You're not gonna use this again anyway, so you just break them off, the one on top and on the bottom. So now you're firmly screwed on, you know, uh, to the valve itself. Then you screw this down. Now it will go past where those tabs were and it acts as an actual puller. Uh, it couldn't do that before because it was fighting against itself with the tabs in the way, these white pieces, okay? And so then you use the nut. I, I'm thinking, you know, the only video I saw made it seem like you just wrenched it out after you got it tightened up. And I thought, well, what's the purpose of this and that screw? If all you're doing is pulling on this, you don't need this. This acts as the lever. This acts as a, you know, a fulcrum, if you will, to kind of pull it out. And that loosens it, okay? So you just keep doing that until it stops. And, and, and it pulls it out about an eighth of an inch or so uh, away and then so then that this is done you can't do any more with this nut sorry you can't do any more with this nut so I just loosen it back up and then um, for now uh, just to show you something so now you have this this is for to loosen you know break loose the valve itself so you're using torque here to loosen it okay and then now you can work it out. So I think the video that I saw that was closest to being right, um, they had it wrong. They, he thought it was only to pull this out, but that'll make sense. Why do they got this big nut? It's supposed to act like a wheel puller, you know, like a flywheel puller, different kind of wheels that we've had to pull off that were pressed on. You know, it acts, you know, this the screw uh, mechanism is used to, to help force it off. Well, there was no way to do it with that, with those white pieces there, those white pieces of plastic. So I broke them off. Um, I was wondering why nothing made sense. And then once I did that, then it moved it out. I was able to tighten this down with the wrench and then it pulled it out a little bit. Okay, then I noticed that I can, so I just pulled it away just to look to see what else I had to do. And then I realized, okay, this, the reason why you want to make sure this is lined up correctly uh, in there uh, on these both sides of that plastic is because now you can torque it. 
back and forth, see, with this, with this, this excess your lever, okay? And then uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to get it out now, and there it comes, so. Anyway, I had to figure it out on my own. What the heck's the problem? So you can see it's coming out, so there should be no problem. I would suggest as they do, uh, once you get this out, uh, of course, make sure your water's turned off, that you look for any burrs in there, and uh, use a wire brush or something to get rid of any calcium buildup of burrs or anything like that. Make sure you pull it out safely and quickly. But I figured it out. <laughs> I tell you, the instructions that come with it are very poor. Uh, and the videos that I've seen uh, don't do this tool justice either. Because this acts as the main thing that breaks it loose, this guy. This acts as the thing that helps you twist it back and forth so you can wiggle it out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye.